Good afternoon everyone, Koto Shajuku Kazuiro born January 30, 1984 as Kazuiro Kikatsugi Kikatsugi Kazuiro, in Yanagawa, Fukuoka, is a Japanese former professional sumo wrestler, wrestling for Seidaga Take Stable. He made his professional debut in 2002, and reached the top division in 2005. In 2011 he achieved the standard for promotion to the second highest rank of Ozeki by winning 33 bouts over three tournaments, and was formally promoted by the Japan Sumo Association on 28 September. On January 24, 2016 he became the first Japanese-born wrestler in 10 years to win a top division tournament. He had a long-standing rivalry with Kaisa Nozato against whom he fought a record 66 times the most between two wrestlers in sumo history. He continued to fight after losing his Ozeki rank in January 2017, and in March 2020 became the oldest active Sakitori. He announced his retirement from active competition on November 14, 2020. Koto Shajuku earned seven special prizes in his career, won one top division tournament, and was runner-up in three others. Click on the bell, Kikatsugi was one of three brothers born to a builder. As a young boy he attended an area sumo exhibition and had his picture taken sitting on the lap of future Yokozuna Takanahana. This encouraged him to try out sumo. He transferred to Mdaku Jijaku Junior High School which is well known for its strong sumo program. In 1998, his third year of junior high, he won a national sumo tournament and was named junior high school Yokozuna. He continued sumo at Mdaku's high school. In his club were two Mongolians exchange students, the future Sakitori Asaskairu and future Yokozuna Asashiro. Having become known to the owner of Seidaga Take for his sumo skills, he joined that stable after graduating from high school. He fought his first professional bout in January 2002 under the Shikona of Kota Kakatsugi Kazuiro. Rising quickly, he changed his ring surname to Koto Shajuku in January 2004 before reaching Jurio in July 2004 and the top Mikachi division in January 2005. In May 2005 he changed the spelling of his Shikona given name to he steadily climbed the top division ranks, reaching Megashira 1 in July 2006 but a disastrous 3-12 result sent him back to Megashira 7. However, two 10-5 results in the following two tournaments saw him rise back up to Megashira 1 and earned him his first technique special prize. He produced a strong 9-6 score in the 2007 New Year tournament. In March 2007 he made his Sanyaku debut at Sekirwe Crank the first newcomer to the rank for nine tournaments. He made a poor start to the tournament, losing eight of his first nine bouts, but he showed great strength of character in winning the last six in a row to finish with a 7-8 record and remain in Sanyaku, albeit at the lower rank of Kamijibai. Further losing scores in the next two tournaments caused him to slip to Megashira 3 by September 2007. However, a 10-5 mark in that tournament returned him to the titled ranks for November, again at Kamijibai. In that tournament he defeated Yokozuna Hikuo on the opening day and picked up his second technique prize. Koto Shajika warms up for his first match in the May 2009 tournament. In January 2008 he was amongst the tournament leaders until he injured his right knee on the eighth day in a loss to Hikuo and had to withdraw. This was the first time in his career that he had missed any tournament bouts. It was initially reported that he would need 10 days of rest, but his stable master, the former Kota Naaka, indicated that Koto Shajiko was keen to return to action as soon as possible. He re-entered the tournament from the twelfth day, winning three of his four bouts to finish with nine wins. After this tournament he was named as one of seven wrestlers who NHK commentator Shuinago, the former Maino Umi, 
called the Seven Samurai and identified as holding the key to a Japanese resurgence in sumo, which was dominated by foreigners in the top ranks. The others were Go Ito, Kaisenazato, Hamisho, Toyo Hibiki, Toy Onoshima and Tachiyazen. Let's subscribe to the channel Kodo Shajiko was promoted back to Sekiwake for the March 2008 tournament where he defeated the eventual tournament winner Asashiro on the 12th day, his second career win over a Yokozuna, to earn the Outstanding Performance Award. He maintained his Sekirwake rank for three tournaments but returned to the Megashira ranks after scoring only 6-9 in July 2008. In July 2009 he returned to the Sanyaku ranks for the first time in six tournaments, at Kamiyashibai and came through with a winning record. He made Sekirwake again in September, but fell short with a 6-9 record. He returned to Kamiyashibai for the January 2010 tournament, following a strong 10-5 performance at the rank of Megashira 2 the previous November. However, he had only one win over a Sanyaku wrestler in this tournament, Ozeki Keio and could score only a Meikashi 6-9. In July 2010 he returned to the Sekirwai crank after scoring 9-6 at Kamiyashibe in May. Despite admitting some involvement with gambling in the wake of the scandal surrounding his stablemate Kota Mitsuki, it was not deemed serious enough to warrant a suspension. He scored only 5 to 10 in this tournament. Returning to Sekirwai once again in January 2011, he produced double-digit wins for the first time in the Sanyaku ranks, scoring 11-4 and winning his third technique prize. Sumo Association official Takanahana indicated that Koto Shajiko would be considered for Ozeki promotion if he won or came close to winning the following tournament in March. However, that tournament was cancelled due to a match-fixing scandal and in the following May 2011 technical examination tournament he finished out of contention on 10-5, needing to win at least 12 bouts in July to be considered for Ozeki promotion. Koto Shajiku seemed on course by day 11 when he defeated Hakuo for just the second time to move to 9-2. However, he then lost two in a row to rank and filers Okino Umi and Wakanazato dashing any hopes of immediate promotion. He finished the tournament on 11-4 and was awarded his second Outstanding Performance Prize. In the September 2011 tournament Kodo Shajiku put in another strong performance, faltering only against fellow Sekirwake Kikuru and Megashira Tachiyazan before beating Hikuo for the second time in a row on day 13. This put both men at 10-2 and left open the possibility of a playoff for the Yasho on the final day. In the event however, Koto Shajiku lost his last bout to Ozeki Baruto while Hikuo won to clinch his 20th championship. 1. Nevertheless, Koto Shajiku at 12-3 had achieved the necessary number of 33 wins over the last three tournaments to earn Ozeki promotion. Takanahana commented beating the Yokozuna was a big factor. It was close to a unanimous decision by the judging committee to promote him. Koto Shajiku became the first Japanese wrestler to be promoted to Ozeki since his former stablemate Kota Mitsuki in 2007. He was also awarded special prizes for outstanding performance, his third, and technique, his fourth. In his debut Ozeki tournament he won his first nine matches although he lost to two fellow Ozeki and Yokozuna Hikuo and finished at 11-4. He did not win more than 10 bouts in a basho over the next year, and had to withdraw from the September 2012 tournament after suffering a knee injury. He was injured again and withdrew early in the November 2013 tournament. After returning he had two mediocre performances followed by a very poor 5-10 in May 2014 and was Kataban, at risk of losing his Ozeki status. In the July 2014 tournament, he responded with his best performance as an Ozeki, 
and was tied for the lead going into the final day before losing to Go Ito and finishing 12-3. This was his first runner-up performance as a Nozaki and the third overall in his career. After a mediocre 9-6 in September, he once again fell Kataban after a poor 6-9 performance in the November tournament. However, he comfortably held his rank in the opening tournament of 2015. Another 6-9 in May 2015 saw him Kataban yet again. In July his record was 5-7 after 12 days but he preserved his rank with three consecutive wins including a last day victory over Teryun Afuji. September 2015 saw a return to form as he recorded an 11-4 result to tie for third place. In November he started strongly, winning seven of his first eight matches, but then began to struggle and withdrew injured on day 14 to end with an 8-6-1 record. The January 2016 tournament marked 10 years since Tachi Azuma became the last Japanese-born wrestler to win the top division title. Koto Shajuku began it with 10 straight victories, including wins over Kaisa Nazato and Kakuru before attempting to take sole possession of the lead against the similarly undefeated Hakuo on day 11. Koto Shajuku had won only four of their previous 50 meetings but started aggressively, forced the Yokozuna to the edge and won by Oshitashi, Hakuo said of the winner, he is better than he's ever been. I thought I had room to work with. But I was on this straw before I knew it. Koto Shajuku maintained his lead with a win over Haruma Fuji and said after the contest I did what I had to do and gave everything I had. I'm getting calmer every passing day. I've come through tough times so I'd like to have the mindset to enjoy this. I just have to win a battle with myself. On day 13 his winning run ended as he sustained an upset loss to the Megash Irotoi Anoshima a long-time friend. A win against Tachi Izan meant that he entered the final day one win in front of Hakuo and Toi Anoshima, and needing a win over Go Ito to claim the championship. He defeated his opponent by Tsuki Otoshi to win the tournament with a 14-1 record. His parents, who were in attendance, reportedly burst into tears whilst fans in his hometown of Yanagawa celebrated after watching his victory on a big screen. 14, interviewed after the match he said I'm so happy, I can't even put it into words. But I'm also thrilled because I'm standing here now thanks to a great number of people who supported me when I struggled and didn't get the results I wanted. At a press conference on 16 February, he reflected on the 10-year wait for a Japanese winner and remarked that his fellow Japanese wrestlers may lack the will to win that Mongolian wrestlers have shown. All the Japanese wrestlers want to win championships. But sumo is about winning. Maybe we Japanese are too set in our ways. Maybe we lack the greed to win at all costs. We can learn from them. Koto Shajuku Ozaki Original Tagata, Handprint and Signature the head of the Japan Sumo Association's judging department, Aizgahama Oyakata, indicated that if he achieved a high-quality championship in the March Grand Sumo Tournament, he would be recommended for promotion to Yokozuna rank. This would have made Koto Shajuku the first Japanese Yokozuna to be promoted since Wakanahana Masaru in 1998. In March he began very strongly to win seven of his first eight matches. His hopes of promotion however, disappeared in the second week as he suffered a series of defeats and ended with an 8-7 record. He withdrew from the July 2016 tournament in Nagoya after suffering five losses in the first six days, siding knee and foot injuries. He escaped demotion with a 9-6 record in September. In November 2016 Koto Shajuku did not have the best tournament managing only five wins which put him in Kataban status for the January 2017 tournament, the seventh time in his career. Koto Shajuku did not perform well in the January 2017 tournament and was only able to get a 5-10 record but was able to give Kaisa Nozato, who ended up winning the tournament, 
his only defeat since Kodo Shajiko was Kataban and failed to get the necessary eight wins he was demoted to Sekirwake after 32 tournaments at Ozeki. In March 2017, Kodo Shajiko was unable to obtain the 10 wins required to return immediately to Ozeki status falling one win short at 9-6. His sixth defeat was controversial, up against Teruyuna Fuji on day 14. With Teruyuna Fuji among the leaders, Koto Shajiku needed to win his last two matches for a return to Ozeki. At the Takei, Teruyuna Fuji sidestepped the onrushing Koto Shajiku and won by Hitakakami. Ending the popular Koto Shajiku's quest for a return to Ozeki with the palatable disapproval of the Osaka crowd. In May he lost seven of his first eight bouts and despite mounting a spirited comeback in the second week he ended with a 7-8 record and was relegated to Kamiyajibai. Another 7-8 result followed in July resulting in him dropping to the Megashira ranks. On the third day of the September 2017 tournament he defeated Haruma Fuji, earning his first career Kinboshi for an upset of a Yokozuna while ranked as a Megashira. Koto Shajiku is the fourth wrestler to get his first Kinboshi as a former Ozeki, following Mobiyama, Takanami and Nashiragata. He returned to the Sanyaku ranks at Kamiyajibai for the November 2017 tournament. In January 2018 he defeated Kaisa Nazato to earn his second Kinboshi. This was his 66th and final Mikuchi bout against Kaisa Nazato, the highest number of contests between two wrestlers in sumo history. He had defeated Kaisa Nazato 34 times, with 29 losses not including two wins by default and one loss by default. He was forced to withdraw from the July 2018 tournament after suffering a tendon injury in his left elbow during a defeat to Tamawashi on day 10 in which he was thrown from the Doha with a coat notch arm lock throw. In March 2019 he was in contention for the Fighting Spirit Prize but was defeated on the final day. However he still finished with a strong 11-4 record. He defeated Hakuo on day 14 of the July 2019 tournament, to earn his third Kinboshi, a record for an ex Ozeki. He was nominated for a fourth Outstanding Performance Prize as a result, but was defeated on the final day of the tournament and so missed out on the award. By 2020 Koto Shajuku had fallen towards the bottom of the Makuchi division, although he said he had not lost his motivation to keep fighting. During the January 2020 tournament he tied with Dakunahana on 701 top division wins, ninth place on the all-time list and said he felt honored to find his name next to him. He surpassed Takanahana and Mizashimaru in the following tournament, and Haruma Fuji and Kaisa Nazato in July, to rise to sixth place on the all-time list, finishing his Makuchi career with 718 wins. His 92 top division tournaments is the seventh highest in history. He became the oldest active Sakitori in March 2020, following the retirements of Toei Onoshima and Sokakurai.